Welcome to Textbook Engineering Problem, where we explore complex engineering problems and discuss different methods for solving them. In this video, I'll be breaking down a problem and discussing different ways to tackle it. However, keep in mind that there is no one correct path for some of these solutions, and I encourage you to share your own insights and thoughts in the comments. Together, we can learn and improve our problem-solving skills. So, sit back, grab a notebook, and let's dive into today's problem. We're working out of Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes 3rd Edition, and we're doing problem number 3.40. The problem statement says, two mercury manometers, one open end and the other sealed end, are attached to an air duct. The reading on the open end manometer is 25 millimeters, and that on the sealed end manometer is 800 millimeters. Determine the absolute pressure in the duct, the gauge pressure in the duct, and the atmospheric pressure, all in millimeters of mercury. Okay. So we have two manometers, both are attached to the same duct, as you can see here in the diagram. This manometer, the open end manometer, takes the pressure difference between the atmospheric and that in the duct. This manometer is closed, and so the reference pressure in this case is vacuum. And the, refer and the, the spot that it's measuring is inside the duct. Okay. So this manometer measures the total pressure inside the duct, and this one measures the gauge pressure. Okay. Let's start off with the absolute pressure. Let's find out what the absolute pressure is. Our, our reference pressure is this end, which is the closed end, which is basically a vacuum. Okay. So that goes to zero, and then we're left with this many millimeters of mercury, 800 millimeters of mercury. Now we could try and do different density of the mercury. Maybe this mercury isn't at uh, zero degrees Celsius, and so the density is a little different. They didn't give us any temperature information, so we're just going to assume that we're going to stick with the density that they gave to us, which is um, because they gave all of the measurements in millimeters of mercury, literally. So this is literally millimeters of mercury at a certain density that is not defined. Okay, so um, that's why we left it as 800 millimeters of mercury. There you go. And that's why we're not going to use a density in the back of the book either because the density in the back of the book is at 20 degrees and we don't know what temperature this mercury is at. Okay, then we find out what the gauge pressure is. We know that the gauge reference pressure is the atmospheric pressure and, and uh, then we have the pressure inside the duct so it would be the absolute pressure inside the duct minus the atmospheric pressure would be what the gauge pressure is. And we know that the gauge pressure is the difference. The difference between these two pressures is the gauge pressure, and the difference is equal to this difference in height of, of mercury. Okay, so the head pressure in the, due to the mercury is equal to 25 millimeters of mercury. So that is the gauge pressure. Okay, and then finally, as we just said, the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure minus the gauge pressure, as you can see from this relationship that we just showed. And so we have the, the total pressure minus the gauge pressure equals 775, which would be 800 minus 25. And that is it for problem number 3.40. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful in your problem-solving journey. Remember, there are other routes you can take to arrive at the same correct answer, and I encourage you to leave a comment with any additional insights or questions you may have. Also, if you have any specific engineering problems you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. Your feedback is valuable, and I look forward to continuing the conversation with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more engineering problem-solving videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.